these worlds to talk to. I know you guys have to run. I know you got to get going. Thanks, you guys. Thanks, and thanks for fixing my back. I appreciate that. I'm, an, I'm a new woman. Thanks, you guys. Thank thanks you. a lot. Sharon Stone, Ellen DeGeneres. Now we'll be back with Casey Affleck right after this. Thank you, guys. relationships and the star if these walls could talk too is a new HBO movie that takes a serious look at lesbian life stars Sharon Stone Ellen DeGeneres and director Anne Heche turned up for the film's big screen premiere in the Big Apple Cindy Hom has more if it's our child it's gonna get teased and it's gonna have to defend us maybe but kids get teased. All kids get teased. That's a movie where Sharon Stone does a lesbian love scene with Ellen DeGeneres, directed by Ellen's real-life partner, Anne Heche, might sound like juicy internet gossip, but it's not. Diane Sawyer, Angelica Houston, and Janine Garofalo celebrated with cast members at the New York premiere of If These Walls Could Talk Too. For Heche, the production was a labor of love. I got to write a love letter to my wife. And tonight, this is a celebration of that for me. She's great. I, I mean, I really had no idea what it was going to be like to work with her. And she's brilliant, and she surprises me every single day of my life how brilliant she is. And this was just one more thing. I think we just wanted to do a very normal look at lesbian love. We didn't want it to be sensationalized. We wanted it to be loving and wholesome and joyful. And so we had a very clear, clean, simple intention with it. I live here, I had nothing else to do tonight, so I thought, hey, girl on girl action, I don't mind it. If These Walls Could Talk to premieres on HBO this Sunday. Jamie Lee Curtis and Danny DeVito are... One of the most harrowing... ...stone in an episode written and directed by Anne Heche. They play a lesbian couple who want to have a child. Aaron Stone and Ellen DeGeneres, good morning. Nice to see you guys. Howdy. Hello. Uh, Ellen, I know that you're executive producer of this three-part drama. How did you and Ann Heche get involved with the, with the project in the first place? How did I get involved? She yes. wrote it for me, so I had to say yes. And she wrote it with <laughs> me in mind. And then I also, at the same time, joined on as executive producer with HBO, and they didn't know that Ann was writing it with me in mind. So they, they thought they were giving me a job because I'd be at home doing nothing. And little did they know I was going to be in it anyway. So then the lovely Sharon Stone joined on, and then I got to be the boss of all of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's three episodes involving, I guess, three different scenarios all taking place supposedly in the same house through the years. The first one, Ellen, is about two school teachers. I'm so sorry. The devastation of losing someone and not even uh, being able to grieve and, and uh, given the comfort that a woman is given when her husband dies or vice versa. And, and having basically no rights when you lose a loved one. No, and you can get put out in the street because you don't have a legal, you don't have a legal right that in a spouse might have. And you still don't. That's the case in the first, the first uh, movie. But this also happens today. Ann and I had to, to sit down with an attorney and set up special rights so that we can even visit each other in the hospital if something should happen because we don't have those rights. You want to dance? Basically details a relationship right. between two young women. Right, and the discrimination within the community even that if there's a femme butch couple, which this couple is, how the gay community doesn't embrace that. There's discrimination within the community even. And I think in that period when young women were really fighting for their rights as, as young feminists, their own uh, personal confusion about what that meant. Finally, the episode involving you all. You are a gay couple who want very much, as I mentioned, to have a child. And you're going through sort of the frustrations and the whole process of having to be artificially inseminated mm -hmm. and having to pick a sperm donor, et cetera, et cetera. Why did you want to get involved in this project? I'm sure this is the first time you've been asked that question. <laughs> well, I admire Anne. She's an extraordinarily talented, smart, interesting woman. And when she called me and said, I've written this piece of material that I'd like to direct, and it's a romantic comedy, and Ellen has already agreed to play the other part, I thought, this is unbelievable. And she sent it to me, and it was great material. And it's very rare to get good romantic comedy material. 
And it was great, and to be able to work with someone who really understands comedy the way Ellen does, it was wonderful for me, an opportunity, I thought. Then, and the, the next tier is that the material, I think, is, is not just gay material. There are a lot of 40-something couples who are trying to have a child, and it's not that easy. And so to, to really explore the emotional depth of that was very gratifying, and I think...